Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing video for our Redmi Note 10 Pro, Note 11 and Poco X3 Pro. And uh, today I am back with a new custom room which is named as Skyline UI and uh, it is based on Android 13. Its security patch is also all the way latest 5 August 2023. So it is officially available for our devices and today in this video i will be showing you its full review and i will also tell you how you can install it out on your redmi note 10 pro note 11 and poco x3 pro so as you can see here you can check the sky ui settings and its version is 13.0 and this is the official build for our redmi note 10 and it is based on android 13 so in this video i will be going to show you is it stable for daily usage or not and i will also tell you how you can install it out on your android devices so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future update. so first of all let's talk about its performance the performance of this rom is pretty much awesome it is just opening every application pretty much quickly as you can see here there is no any single lag or issue in this room everything is just working perfectly and uh, this is a brand new custom room for our android devices and i also had a geekbench test on it and it just scored 642 on single core and it scored 1521 on multi core these cores are pretty much impressive and i just uh, run that uh, test on my redmi note 10 pro the scores are really impressive if you talk about the application we don't get a lot of janky application we don't have a lot of bloatware in this room only few and needed applications are pre-installed right here first of all let's talk about the camera if we talk about the camera here we have the leica camera with all available modes and settings pro mode is available video mode portrait night mode and all other options like short video vlog mode you can also use the dedicated 108 megapixel on the redmi note 10 pro and 50 megapixel on the redmi note 11 and you can also use the dedicated camera from the poco x3 pro so there is no any issue regarding the camera and dolby atmos is also pre-installed that's mean the sounding quality of this room will be amazing so other than that here we don't have a lot of applications safety is pre-installed recorder is pre-installed and from the left you can access the google feeds and from the home screen you get this pixel launcher with some minimum settings then you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen to make it look more unique and beautiful then here we have the wallpaper and style option from here you can change the colors right from here then you can change the wallpaper you can also use the skyline ui wallpaper which is pre-installed right here as you can see here it will look like this uh, so after it here we have themed icons and you can also change the upgrade right from here so themed icons looks pretty much cool on this wallpaper it just make it green accent color is also green now now let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations so as you can see here the app opening speed is pretty much cool isn't it so the animations are also played very well as you can see here there is no any lag in it so the ui of uh, setting is pretty much typical and the ui of quick settings is also pretty much typical with the basic android 13 roms so first of all here we have search option then we have connectivity then we have notification battery the battery backup of this rom is pretty much also as you can see here it is on uh, 54 percent and it is showing the estimated remaining time about two days and here we have the battery usage temperature and you can also view the uh, usage of past 24 hours here we have battery saver you can also use the extreme battery saver then we have adaptive preferences and always on when charging so then we have storage sound and vibration and uh, here we have the me sound enhancer dolby atmos is pre-installed in this room and me sound enhancer is also available that's mean it gonna increase the sounding quality in your device clear speaker is available haptic feedback is available and then all other typical options are available then we have the display in the display we have all typical options you can enable or disable uh, the dark theme right from here and you can also use the black theme which will give you amulet black color as you can see here but it is uh, giving us reflections so we're gonna use the light theme then we have screen saver you can adjust the screen size and text size here we have night light colors profiles 
then we have smooth display it gonna automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 120 or 90 hertz whatever uh, refresh rate is supported by your display if you install it out on your redmi note 11 it will uh, resist the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz and if you use it on redmi note 10 pro or poco xc pro it will increase the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz so then we have screen protector mode tap to wake tap to sleep and custom settings here we have anti flicker mode then we have high brightness mode if you are using your device in a harsh light or in sunlight direct sunlight then you can use it out then we have accessibility security in the security because the security patch is latest that's mean every security option will be working in this room face along uh, face lock is available fingerprint is available and on screen locks are pretty much working so there is no any issue in security department then we have privacy location digital well-being is the latest then we have skyline ui workstation here we have all available customization but we don't get a lot of customization in this room actually here we have hidden apps you can hide the apps from right from this setting no need to download or install any third party application then we have ignore secure window flags hide power menu on lock screen it means if you are on lock screen you cannot get but it is working <laughs> I don't know why so let's try it now it is working still but I have not set it up any screen lock that maybe that's why it is working and uh, if you are using a face lock or on screen locks then it will be not working you can also use the black theme then that's all the customizations in the Skyland UI workstation then we have system in the system here we have languages and input gestures here we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is pretty much useful then we have press and hold power button swipe three finger for screenshot quick torch then we have pre-word ringing then we have button settings here we have some customizations here we have power button and volume button customizations then we have status bar you can enable the network indicator system icons and uh, some other icon settings then we have clock battery battery icon settings and quick pull down is available then we have date and time backup rules multiple user reset option thermal profiles here we don't have any option of updater so at the end here we have about phone section from here you can check your ui sky ui version which is 13 android version is 13 security patch is 5 august 2023 so this rom is completely stable for daily usage and if you want to install it out then the download link for all three devices is available in the description box you can install it out on your redmi note 10 pro note 11 or poco x3 pro as well and uh, you can install it out the installation process is pretty much simple you can just follow these on screen instructions and you can install it out and you are ready to go so this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and if you have any question or queries about this video then let us know in the comment section and you can also join us on the telegram group and channel telegram group and channel link is in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace